Hello and welcome to my new video. Today, I will be showing you an amazing village in Netherlands. I will go through its history, what you can do here, how to get here, and is it really worth visiting. Packed with beautiful canals, that are interconnected with approximately 176 small bridges, this is the amazing village of Gaythorn, Netherlands. This amazing village is located in the province of Overijssel. The name of this village goes back to 13th century. The story goes that, in 1170 the native farmers found large amount of goat horns, which thought to have died in the flood that year. Thus the name Goat Horn or Gatenhorn was shortened to Gate Thorn. Back in the days, peat digging was big thing in this village, as it was thought to be a main source of fuel. Two large floods in 1776 and 1825 caused a lot of water around this place. To transport the peat, people dug canals that resulted in this structure of the village that we see today. The houses here are from 18th and 19th century. All these roof thatched houses in Gaythorn are often surrounded by deep green, well kept lawns with beautiful flowers. So, in combination with the many waterways, with rows of weeping willows along the canals, and the 176 bridges, you can easily imagine yourself in a romantic fairy tale. The village is without any roads or any streets. There is a walking path named Benenpad, that runs through this village. You can find restaurants and tourist shops in this village. Every year, Gaythorn attracts approximately 1 million tourists. Which puts Gaythorn into top 10 attractions, in Netherlands. One thing that I found very odd here was that this village has no coffee shops. Not even one. The closest coffee shop is approximately 10 minutes drive, away from the village.
Here, you can do a boat ride on the tradition punter boat. Or, you can rent a whisper boat, which is an electric version, that you can drive yourself. Most of the village is only accessible by boat, therefore, this village is often called, Venice of the North, or Dutch Venice. This village is one of the best man-made wonders. You can relax, walk around and ride bicycle on the Binnen path, while admiring the beauty of this village. To really enjoy this place, I recommend that you stay here for at least two nights. There are various hotels from low budget to luxury hotels. To get to this amazing village, I am choosing Amsterdam as the starting point, mainly because most tourists visiting Netherlands go to Amsterdam. With that said, it is possible to drive from Amsterdam to Gaythorn, it's a short drive of approximately, 1 hour 30 minutes. Or you can take a day tour by a bus from Amsterdam. There is also an option of taking a train to Steenwauk and then taking a bus to Gaythorn from there. Unfortunately, there are no direct trains to Gaythorn. Before I conclude this video, I humbly ask you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, as it really helps me to keep creating content for you. My conclusion is that, Gaythorn is often ignored by tourists, as not many people know about this place, and it's located near the German border. I recommend that if you visit Netherlands, this village should be on your list of places to visit. It is utterly beautiful and worth visiting. Thank you for watching, and kindly subscribe for more videos like this one.